So I watched Roadhouse last night, which is a sentence I absolutely love to say. And a great reason to introduce my brand new segment, Ryan's Retro Reviews, Roadhouse Edition. <laughs> Now, Roadhouse is a Patrick Swayze vehicle from 1989 where he plays Dalton, a no-nonsense bouncer who knows how to get the job done. But today I just want to focus on the first scene in the movie. We open at the bandstand and this place is bumping. Some serious 1989 energy happening up in here. We scan the crowd and oh sh**, it's Swayze. Just scoping the scene, keeping watch and beat with a vicious head nod that suggests I'm here for business, but don't think I don't know how to party. We got some shenanigans at table nine. Buddy is kicking old girl's chair, getting into it with the local folk, Swayze activates. About to let these roofians know what time it is. I think it's time for you gentlemen to leave. Check time. Swayze assesses an ocular pat down and clears them. Big mistake. Home dude immediately picks up a stray fork and lunges, gashing Swayze in the shoulder, and lets him know he's not here for a good time. He's here to try the one they call Dalt. Okay, Dalton. I've always wanted to try you. I think I can take you. They fierce walk to the parking lot, allowing Swayze to showcase that beige hip huggers are in. And now it's go time. Except nah, Dalton ain't got time for this shit. Y'all ain't even on that level. Bolo tie over here been scoping out the whole sitch. Color him impressed. He follows the party into the back and finds Dalton stitching up his shoulder with his standby sewing kit. Boss. Bolo tells him about the watering hole he's running back in KC that's become a real dickbag convention. He needs the best in the game to take back the wheel, Taffer style. And in this biz, everyone knows if you want something done, Dalton's the one. Because for some reason in the Roadhouse universe, bouncers are a known commodity nationwide. And you know what? I'm here for it. Give those hosses their flowers. I've got your plane ticket right here. It's pretty dope that back in 89, you could just book a vague plane ticket and then just hand it off to anyone to use like a bus token. What a time. I don't fly. Too dangerous. Says the guy currently sewing up his shoulder after being stabbed by a rogue fork. Dalton plays by his own rules and his own transportation. I'm out of here. Take this job and screw. You know, I thought you'd be... Bigger. All right, settle down there, Bolo. The man just upended his whole livelihood to help you with your shit sty of a bar. Is this really the time to crack wise on his stature? All right, I know I said that we were just gonna break down scene one, but that plan can officially kick rocks. We gotta follow Dalt down to KC now and see what shakes out at the old double deuce. And yeah, it's a total grime hole. We got dick measuring brawls, handsy slurm bags, Shirtless cowboys getting their line step on, a chicken wired covered band so to protect them from the countless bottles being hurled at their face, and classy pickup work getting slung around left to right like this. Hey, vodka rocks. What do you say you and me get nipple to nipple? Nailed it. Fortunately, Terry Funk's right there to show him back to his table. Then we get the ultimate Swayze turnaround. Talking Danny Zuko level intro. Dog. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit, I heard of you. So just like everyone in America knows this guy, huh? Hey Hank, you know who that is? Who? Dalton! Swayze goes to pay respect to the house band, and they know him too. Yeah, and I thought you'd be bigger. Alright, everybody back off my boy Swayze. What he lacks in stature, he damn sure makes up for in stud presence, tai chi, and overall cunning and guile. Anyone else want to take a shot? For that line of work, I thought you'd be bigger. Hey, f*** this town. <sighs> Gee, I've never heard that before. And that's my Roadhouse Retro Review. Let me know what throwback classics you want to see me tackle next in the comments. I'm Castle, and I'll see you there.